Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. Uh, right, I'm going to have a play um, with the Stamps by Me Twinkling Toes and we're going to incorporate some eye mala. So, quite a bit of fun today. Righty -o. So I've cut out my, uh, my boot um, and I think I'll construct that now uh, and then that's, that's done with. This is going to be a male Christmas card. So, um, I've matte and layered with a blue craft card because I thought that that's that's nice for um, for a male card is craft. You know, it doesn't have to be girlish. It's more more manly. Make sure your cards the right way. Yeah, I thought it would be a change using a bit of craft. Like that. So that's all ready now for when we do the card. And, um, and that's going to be what I'm going to be working on. Um, it's a 7x7 seven seven card, by the way, that I'm working on. 7x7. Seven seven. So that's just a nice size, isn't it? Just got a piece of paper on here. under here okay so I'm going to stick this down And for the sole and the heel, I'm leaving that in the um, in the craft card. Could think of the word of it then. Gosh. And then the silver blade. When I was younger, and um, I used to go ice skating with my father every every Saturday. And we used to go to Silver Blades in Manchester. It's no longer there. But we used to do dancing on ice. It was lovely. And it was my dad that taught me to ice skate. And then I've done the cutout for the uh, threads in white. They look nice, don't they? Then I'm going to punch those holes out and then put a bit of string in there. Move something and everything falls down, doesn't it? So here we go. of white string here so it looks a bit like a shoelace Yeah, so this is going to be a male Christmas card. Because sometimes it's hard to think um, what to do for a, a male Christmas card. And um, 
I think this is going to be nice for my grandson. He's going to be 16 next month. Okay. So that looks nice, doesn't it, as um as a lace. Okay. So when that will be on the card, it will be there like that. But what I want to do, I want to do a bit of a scenery background. And this is the Amala one. I think it's called Beyond the Trees. Beyond the Tree. Just double check that. I forget. So many names to remember. I've got hundreds. Under the Tree, it's called. Under the Tree. So I want to. This is a bit of a skating lake. So it's sort of on the lake, skating. Which makes for a lovely scene, doesn't it? I'm going to use my um, Versifying Claire Twilight. And I love it with this stamp, this one uh, uh, under the tree. Um, is it as a reflection of it so can you see down here you'll see it when i lift this stamp up can you see the reflection here with that tree there a little bit more i've used this such a lot it's getting uh, overused it stayed good though it just needs a wash i'll take it down and give it a nice soapy wash which is great for your stamps just soapy wash them oops paper down because I want to do the sky here uh, use my Marla brush and I'm going to use some um, tumbled glass just to go in there like that just a little bit in the sky so you can see the sky and if, if you just you know don't go all over it, can you see how it leaves like clouds in the sky? So just, uh, I'm just going to edge that like that. And then I just want to skim across this. Not a heavy blue because of course it's, it's ice across here like that. And using my Copic markers, I want to go with the lightest grey. Just the lightest grey, just to give a shadow of those mountains like that behind. Like that. 
because obviously the tops of them are snow topped. Just behind there, and just along there, and a bit of a reflection down. So it's a bit of a shadow, if you like, like that. Then I'll get the slightly darker one. That one was, I think it was double O or C O, and this one is C two. Don't know what happened to see one. Maybe there isn't one. I just darken it a little bit, really neck right next to where the line is. Just along there. So you've sort of got the shadow up, but this just sort of defines it, doesn't it? What do you say? A brilliant stamp this to have in your stash and I'm just going along the side of those trees just down the side of them just to bring them out like that and behind these bushes here because again everything is sort of covered in snow And just going down, can you see how it's brought that out? Now I've got a green, and this is called G82. And I'm just going to just dot a little bit, not much, just a little bit of green showing, but not a lot. So I'm just sort of dotting about because I want it really light. I don't think I've got a lighter one than that. So that's that's just that. Same on here. Just a few dots of green in the background. Like that. Can you see? Because the branches underneath don't catch the snow. It's just the tops of the branches. So you just want that little look of... of uh, of the greenery. And you see it's hardly there but it's there. Just dot these. The boot's going to be over some of this so don't want to pay too much attention to it. But when you're placing something, you don't know what it covers, do you? So I'm going back with that really pale grey. I always keep up with the wrong end. And just sort of blending that out, that green. Just blending that out a little bit. And you see how that's it's left it there, but it's lightened it a little bit. Obviously, the boot. I wonder if I'm going to take, uh, put pad it up as well. That can go there. Um, so I want to try and get a sentiment down here. Um, so let me get the card now and pop that on. So that's going to go in the middle there. Sure, it's opening the right way. Pop that down like that. Oh, 
you get some fabulous uh, scenes with the the Amala stamps. The you know get get your stamps out and have a look what you've got. So sometimes we forget what we've got, don't we? So that's that's that done. Um, I want to decide on a, a sentiment here for uh, Merry Christmas. I was going to do from the um, the ski season one. I was going to do the Let It Snow. Um, so I'll get that out and um, then I'll see where it goes with the boot. See, see, I'm doing all of this off the cuff. You know, it's not completely pre-planned. <laughs> get an idea in your head. Oh yes, that, that's nice, isn't it? That's lovely. Right, that, that's going on. Again, I'm going to use my Twilight. I really must re-ink this. Make sure that you're in shot. Yeah. I always forget to check. And then I'll get some pads for this. <clears throat> so have any of you uh, got this... Um, the stamp and the twinkle link toes, if you have, you know, show us what you make on the Eureka Stamps by Me fan group. Uh, come on in and show us. If, uh, we love to see what people are making with these stamps. Really do. And um, I have some pre-made uh, snowflakes because obviously in this the Twinkling Toast set you get um, you get the snowflakes. So I'm going to put one of those on there. As well, like that. Which looks nice, doesn't it? 
And then I'm going to get the fabulous Funky Fossil uh, Stella Pace Starlight. As you all know, I love the stuff. Let's get a brush. And on those mountains, I'm going to have some of that fab glitter paste. Because it, um, because it's it's a texture paste as well as glitter, you know you can you can put it on thick, so it's, it has a texture to it. Or you can just brush it, and it leaves a nice like a glitter glue if you like. And then just here on the ice here. Some nice streaks of ice, glittering ice. Like that. And I'm just gonna glitter glitter that a little bit on the on the laces. That's nice. And what I do have too, is I have uh, this stuff that's called, uh, it's by Dale Arona and it's the Luma Bleed Proof White. And it is, it's great for, for uh, adding dots of snow uh, without having to splash on. I, I use one of these nail art things and um, Choose the thickest end, pop it in, and you can dot snow on, and you see. It's a bleed proof one, so it doesn't go pale once it's once it's on. That's exactly as it stays. Oh, and I've dripped. Look at that. What am I like? I don't win myself today, I tell you. I lost my stamp, which was my Creep It Real. I found it. It was stuck in the drawer. And then I lost my die off my twinkling toes for making this. So there's a word of warning. Keep it on the flat on the thing and don't have it in your hand. <laughs> I'm just going to dot it on the on the trees as well. I mean, it dries flat. It does. It's not you know. It's not textured. It does dry flat. But uh, you can sort of uh, using one of these. I just get these anywhere. I think. I can't even remember where I got this these from. I think it was our local hair, you know, it does all hair and nails, uh, suppliers. So there we are. I think we're done. That's nice for a man, isn't it? Or a boy. This isn't cheap, by the way. I think it was about nine pounds something, but you know it's going to last forever, isn't it? It's going to last forever. That. Right. Let me get uh, my black card, and then uh, you can see it better. And there we have it. A lovely male Christmas card. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, do give us a thumbs up. It, hope it does um, help the channel and helps us grow so that we can do more. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.